Hello, my friends. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today, page 38 and 39 of your book. But first, common grammar mistake. It's with apostrophe and it's with no apostrophe. This is a common grammar mistake, my friends, and today we'll learn about it. Okay, it's with apostrophe and it's with no apostrophe. Apostrophes are often used to express possession. For example, Mrs. Smith's car. This means the car of Mrs. Smith. Bob's cat. This means the cat of Bob. But apostrophes are also often used to show contractions. For example, he's is a contraction for he is. Sometimes we must use the context to know if the apostrophe is for possession or contraction. For example, Joe's riding my bike. Well, here, this Joe's is a contraction for, his, for Joe is. Joe is riding. Joe está andando. Because Joe's bike is broken. Well, this Joe's is for possession. Joe's bike, the bike of Joe. All right, now, it's with apostrophe and it's with no apostrophe. It's with apostrophe is always a contraction for it is or it has. Never use it's with apostrophe for possession. Never. For possession, we use it's no apostrophe. Again, for possession, we use it's no apostrophe. This is a common mistake even for people with advanced education in the United States. For example, it's time for bed. This is correct. It is time for bed. It's time for bed. It's with apostrophe. Rio is great. Its best beach is Ipanema. This is wrong. Here we have its possessive, the best beach of Rio. Its best beach. Here we have its possessive with an apostrophe. This is wrong. Never use its with apostrophe for possession, my friends. Never. All right. One more example. It's a funny fruit. This is correct. It is a funny fruit. It's a funny fruit. It's with apostrophe. And this is correct, too. Its name is Rambutan. Here we have its possessive with no apostrophe. Rambutan. And this is a real fruit. This is Rambutan. It's a real fruit. I've never eaten Rambutan, but maybe you have. It looks a little bit like the coronavirus. All right, now cooking vocabulary. Dough, what we use to make bread. Dough in Portuguese is massa. This is dough. Steak, steak is a thick piece of beef. This is a steak. I love steak. Steak is delicious. Thick in Portuguese is grosso. Steak. Garlic bread. Garlic bread is bread with butter and garlic. This is garlic bread. Garlic in Portuguese is alho. I love garlic bread. It's very delicious too. Paella. Paella is a Spanish dish with rice, seafood, and chicken. This is a photo of paella. Paella is very popular in Spain. I've never eaten paella. A berry in the plural berries. Berries are small circular fruits with many seeds. These are berries. There are strawberries, there are blueberries, there are raspberries, there are blackberries. I love berries. A pie. A pie is a baked dish typically made of dough. There are sweet pies and savory pies. Savory pies are salty. This is a sweet pie. This is a berry pie. I love berry pies. Pies in Portuguese are tortas. Spinach. Spinach is a green plant with big leaves. Spinach is Popeye's favorite. Spinach in Portuguese is spinafri. Spinach. Herbs. Herbs are plants used for flavor, medicine, or perfume. These are herbs. Herbs in Portuguese are ervas. Flavor in Portuguese is sabor. 
one pot meal. A one pot meal is a meal that is in just one pot. For example, look at this. It's a whole meal. It's a whole lunch or a whole dinner in one big pot. It's a one pot meal. An example of a one pot meal in Portuguese or in Brazil is feijoada. Feijoada is a one pot meal. And I love feijoada. A pan. A pan is what we use to fry food. This is a pan. And a pot. A pot is what we use to boil food. This is a pot. Heat. Heat is a verb for making food warm or hot. For example, she heats her food with a microwave. Heat. Heat in Portuguese is esquentar. Let it simmer. Let it simmer is to keep something just below the boiling point. Simmering is keeping something just below the boiling point. Boiling point is the point when something boils. Fervy. Pour. Pour is putting a liquid into a different place. Here, he is pouring coffee into his coffee cup. Pour in Portuguese is despejar. Pour. Beat. Beat is to hit repeatedly in an effort to mix something. For example, he is beating the eggs. Beat in Portuguese is bater. Beat. Go grocery shopping. Go grocery shopping is to buy food for the house. To buy the milk, the bread, the eggs, the meat, etc. They are grocery shopping. You can go grocery shopping at the grocery store. And remember, Grocery store is another word for supermarket. You can say supermarket or grocery store. A pinch of an ingredient. A pinch of an ingredient is a small amount of an ingredient that fits between two fingers. For example, here, he is adding a pinch of salt. And you can add a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, a pinch of sugar, a pinch of garlic, a pinch of oregano, etc. Fold. Fold. In this photo, the person is folding the taco. Fold in Portuguese is dobrar. Fold. Skip. Skip is intentionally not doing something that you need to do. Skip in Portuguese is pular. For example, little David is skipping his homework and watching TV. Oh, little David, do your homework, my friend. Okay, that's the end. Finish complete. Bye-bye. See you later, alligator in a wild crocodile. Bye-bye, my friends.